Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, September 18th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I show up where my focus is needed. And we've got some interesting stuff still going on. We've still got this uh, Venus, Uranus, Mars, and the Moon interaction going on today. And you know, Venus and Mars do can <laughs> epitomize the energies of the masculine and the feminine. And one of the big messages that I'm getting in this is the message of integration. How low second is that? <laughs> so we're being called to integrate this within ourselves. I've actually got a lot of cards today um, that are asking us to turn in, look within to bring this energy in. Sorry, my mom just teased him like, hey, I'm here. Do you want to go outside? And then didn't take him outside. He's complaining um, loudly <laughs> about it. <laughs> you always know where you stand with Mahalo. Anyway, so we have today Venus connecting to Uranus um, and the moon connecting to uh Uranus and Venus, and then Mars and Venus are coming into connection tomorrow, early in the morning. And tomorrow, they're coming into connection at 24 degrees, which is a six, which is that degree of finding that balance. So we're being called today to integrate it. And I think that part of it, we're going to be shown, possibly by events outside of ourselves, where our focus is needed at this time to get into this integration energy, where to fall into your heart, where to come into the middle of this. There's that schizophrenia card that I keep pulling this week. And it's like, it's just asking you to find your personal balance within you. Where are you off balance? Now, what I like in this energy is we have a connection between Chiron and Lilith happening today as well. And it's an in conjunct happening at 22 degrees, that master number. And so what I'm feeling a big part of this eclipse that we just had, a big part of this release may have been blocks keeping us from completely embracing that feminine energy. And so here comes Chiron to connect with Lilith to help heal that energy so that we can bring that focus to maybe building up the feminine energy within us. And you know what's so interesting about the feminine energy is that the feminine energy, it flows. It, it moves with the energy. And the other card that, one of the other cards, I have a bunch of cards, is the postponement card. And the message that came with this postponement card is like, can you be okay with this moment? In this card, he's looking out to the, to the next. And the universe is like, the next is coming. It's going to be gorgeous. Trust that. However, there are things for you to do first in this moment, like get into balance, come into harmony with yourself instead of all this mind action. The mind action is really strong right now. Between all the Uranus interactions and the Uranus interactions happening at 23 degrees, the mental yahooness, and the fact that we're in the last few days of Mercury retrograde. So your mind is like here, there, back and forth, everywhere. I know I've been there too. This is asking us to get past that mental yahoo, that's the word that they brought forward with this mental yahoo, past that illusion that anything that you're thinking is actually important right now and coming back into that lesson of Mercury retrograde, of sinking into the body and feeling it through from this place within. So I'm going to show you my cards now before I talk a little bit more of the astro because this blew my mind. I laughed. So from the archangels, from Archangel Jophiel, I pulled meditation. I'll read it in a bit. And then from the universe deck card, I pulled meditation. Seriously. And then in the Yahoo cards, the Yahoo cards, <laughs> the Osho cards, the, I'm a Yahoo. <laughs> the Osho cards, I pulled the turning in meditation card. So this is calling for us to come into unity within ourselves in this energy. We may feel pulled out. We may feel pushed out. Venus opposite Uranus, the moon conjuncting Uranus, uh, moons trining Mars, the moon opposite uh, Venus. There's a lot of this energy that's kind of like pushing, pulling. It's like trying to get into like really tight jeans. <laughs> it's the analogy of kind of like, okay, I'm moving around trying to get in them. Okay, I got them buttoned, but here they are together. That's kind of the process of finding this today. So anywhere that you are pushed out of yourself today, if you find yourself 
a little out of sorts in any ways, that is showing you where you need to come find the integration within you because there's something within you that's not showing up in this energy that needs to show up because when you are showing up, you don't need to get pushed out of, out of sorts. It's like, well, here I am. This is me. This is whole and this is fine. So find that balance, but it's not outside of you. It's within you. Um, that being said, a lot of this energy is happening in the morning. So it might be a morning of like, rawr, and getting things done and, you know, feeling that fire energy, lots of fire energy coming through with this. And then in the afternoon, the moon goes void and prepares to shift into a Taurus moon. So it's going to be like this, I don't know this, I feel like it's like a push of you into like your lessons. And then the afternoon's like, now slow down. Get beyond the illusions of what happened. <laughs> Open yourself up to the possibilities and tune in and meditate and integrate because we've been through these powerful processes. Integration is so important. And this postponement card is just reminding us, be in the now. This isn't about the future. This is about this moment and this is about you. So let's read these meditation cards. Meditation. Your soul is yearning to communicate with you, so sit quietly and listen. Let the light of your soul fill your heart and mind. Listen to the guidance that comes from within. Pay attention to your inner world, and don't be distracted by what is going on outside of you. All you need is inside you, not outside. The outer world is full of distractions and illusions. In your inner world resides your truth. If you are struggling to find an answer or a solution to something, then still your mind through meditation, and soon all will become clear. So this is this card meditation, and then Archangel Jophiel, meditation. Finding stillness and detachment helps us towards the angelic freedom evoked by meditation. Jophiel provides us with his yellow ray to soar with. All we need to do is quiet our mind, so mind, so that we may hear the angels sing. So at dawn and at sunset, or whenever, in the afternoon, I think, practice meditation, breathe deeply, listen intently through a relaxed state to the divine. Om, and then be still and hear the music of the angelic kingdoms. This will bring your own oracular messages. And please be aware of your solitude, stillness, and silence. So three messages of tuning in and listening to yourself today. Four, technically. I think this card is really about that too, beyond delusion. Um, take some time today. We have just been through huge processes this year, you know, that are going to continue on in their own ways. But there's a lot of integration to be done. And all these messages are saying, come back here, come back here, come back here. So that's it for today. Have a beautiful Sunday. Find that balance in you. Show up, focus where your focus is needed. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.